Another day, another dollar. Exercise science, anatomy and physiology, and today we are going to be focusing in on more muscles and we're going to be looking at the muscles of scapula stabilization. Looking at this area, there are six muscles we're going to focus on. The trapezius, the rhomboid major, rhomboid minor, levator scapula, serratus anterior, and the pectoralis minor and those muscles are responsible for a number of actions related to scapular stabilization and those actions are retraction, protraction, elevation, depression, and upwards rotation. Now if we take a look in our coloring books on page 54 you will see the muscles we're about to focus on and we're going to start with the trapezius. The trapezius, this large muscle you see here on the diagram, has a very broad origin and it originates up on the cervical vertebrae starting at C7 and works its way down to T12. So cervical and thoracic vertebrae are part of the origin and its insertion where it attaches and pulls from is on the clavicle at the front and on the spine and the acromion of the scapula. The rhomboid major and rhomboid minor, you're both seen here, extend from the medial margin of the scapula to the spine. The rhomboid major, specifically being this one, uh, attaches to thoracic vertebrae number two, three, four, and five. And on here, again, medial margin of scapula. And the rhomboid minor attaches to cervical vertebrae number seven and thoracic vertebrae number one and again on the medial margin. The levator scapula again has attachment points up on the cervical vertebrae C1, C2, C3, and C4 and its insertion point right here on the medial margin of the scapula but up towards the superior end of that. The serratus anterior is a very interesting looking muscle and it attaches on eight ribs and you'll see here the attachment points and its insertion is down on the medial margin of the scapula and the final muscle the pectoralis minor you can see here that it has its origin on three of the ribs and its insertion point is up here on the scapula and that would be the coracoid process of the scapula. So moving on to the actions of these muscles we have first off retraction which is pulling your shoulder blades back and the prime mover in the action of retraction are the rhomboids major and minor and obviously the rhomboid major would be the prime mover because it is much larger than the rhomboid minor Protraction is the opposite action, rolling your shoulders forward, and the muscle that is responsible for that is the serratus anterior. Then we have two opposing actions. First off, elevation, simply shrugging your shoulders or elevating your shoulders, and the action is a result of contraction of the levator scapula. The opposite action, which is shoulder depression or pushing your shoulders down towards your feet, and the muscle responsible for that is the large trapezius. And the final action is upward rotation, so that's simply lifting your arms in an upward action. And this is an interesting motion because the actual ball and socket joint of the shoulder is only responsible for approximately the first 90 degrees of that action. At that point, there is contact between the greater tubercle of the humerus and the acromion in the scapula and that stops the ball and socket joint from extending any further so what happens at that point in time is the whole scapula rotates around and allows the arm to extend in an upward position so if you want to take a look back on page 36 in your coloring book you can take a look at that bony anatomy those important structures again in upward rotation are the greater tubercle of the humerus and the acromion of the scapula those two bony joints bony structures limit elevation within the arm and from that point on it is upward rotation and the muscle that is primarily responsible for that action is the trapezius. 
Okay, quickly review on page 54, trapezius, rhomboid major, rhomboid minor, levator scapula, serratus anterior, pectoralis minor, and the action they're responsible for are retraction, protraction, elevation, depression, and upward rotation. Have a good day. Good luck on your quiz.